Hey, welcome to Camping with Steve. I've traded in crazy neighbor for beautiful wife. So I'm out here with beautiful wife. We've got some slightly different equipment here. That's the summertime instant pop-out tent. And we've got no wood stove in it. There's a different setup, which I'll show you later. And we're here for bears. We want to see some bears because this is major bear territory. There's literally hundreds of bears per square inch around here. Not literally, but there's lots. So we're going to hit the roads, see some bears. That's the first order of business. We got this all set up yesterday. It's been pouring rain, so we've hunkered down in the tent. And we're going to hit the road. Yeah, that's an electric fence if you didn't see the other videos. But we'll get to that later. Time to see some bears. Well, well, well. Here we are. That is some bear scat. So it's the proper season now, and they're out and about. Let's see what we can see. Alright, there we go. We've got ourselves a black bear just foraging along the edge of the forest there. One of the first that we've actually managed to catch on camera. They're pretty skittish. That fellow's close enough to the forest, he's not not too concerned, but he's still he's still a bit shy. So that's that's good news that they're shy. Alright, so we see a mom out there with some cubs going down the railway tracks. There's a fair amount of grain loss here from the trains, so it can be a bit of a dangerous situation for them when the train comes. And that's, um, we've added three bears to the count today, which takes it right to seven bears. Yeah, sure. Yeah, mama bear's looking at us and we're we're in the vehicle because we're not gonna get out and chase them clearly, but what a day for bears. following the trail of wheat like wheat crunch right down the tracks. Bears, 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 where's the bears? Literally just seconds after I said, where's the bears? Just right there. About two or three kilometers from our campsite down this road. They don't seem to be in the super remote spots. They just like to kind of linger around these uh, more traveled logging roads. So, we got a bear. Doesn't really know what to make of us, but sauntering along down the road.
So we've we've seen a few of these so far. There is a lot of bears in this area. And we got another bear here. He's just hiding in the trees. This place is crawling with them. More bears, more bears, more bears. They really like these tracks. So much grain must get spilled out of these trains that they just, it's like a feast for them. But yeah, there, I don't see a ton in the remote areas. They just tend to come where the people are. We see these things constantly. And they know where, they must know where we are, because they can smell the color of your shirt from 500 miles away. Way up these logging roads, and there is some bare evidence, but they seem to be further down uh, towards civilization right now. They're not lingering up around in these mountains. There's a lot a lot better stuff A lot better stuff for them down by the highways and by people So we'll keep looking and hopefully we'll clock a few more bears this afternoon We've been coming up this logging road that was completely snow two or three weeks ago when we were up here last with crazy neighbor and found this beautiful creek We're gonna see where this goes because there should be a nice view at the top of this. But wow, just the engineering of these roads is amazing that they can build roads through these places. All right, beautiful old growth cedars. These are pretty big for this type of uh, climate. Oh, the smell, it's so lush, it's so green. We've started down this road because we like to just go down logging roads and see where they go and that's our plan wow though is this ever this ever nice and lush and this road seems to go on for quite a ways i haven't got a chance to check it out on google earth or anything but we're just gonna wing it i hope there's a spot to turn around at the end of it all This gets a lot crustier and goes way up a hill, so we're just going to turn around here while we got a chance, and I'm sick of dealing with trees. So we're going to get closer to the main roads and continue the bear search. Well, they're not that main, they're logging roads, but adventure continues. So I think we've explored this logging road as far as we can go in a uh, vehicle seems to be all foot trails and all quads so time to turn around go back across that bridge and get back into the campsite Put up with some water. I feel bad using this mountain creek, beautiful spring water, uh, our eating well for like dishes and laundry and stuff, but it's what we got, so. Delicious, delicious for uh, drinking, cooking. I filled up the last time at Mount Robson campground 
which up until this has been about the best tasting water I've found anywhere. And it can't have enough water, and this is crystal clear. Oh my. Should be good enough for now. All right, bears everywhere. We've seen well over a dozen. Supposedly in this province of BC, black bears outnumber grizzlies 10 to one. But we've seen over 10 black bears by far. Anyway, I'm gonna found an old piece of plywood in the ditch on the logging road, and I'm gonna bushcraft a table here. That'll do for what I need. So it goes to show for just a couple of simple ratchet straps and some junk you find in the ditch, you can bushcraft an excellent table for cooking on. Yes, the table is constructed and of course it's the time of the day where the sun's dipping down, the mosquitoes are out, these bloodthirsty things are everywhere. What normally works for me is a thermocell. It takes a little butane cartridge and there's these blue pads that go in there. I see these things dropping like crazy as soon as I turn it on. So it's probably not good for you, but it works really well. One thing that does work also very well is to start a small fire. So we're gonna do that because it adds a nice ambience to the area. And I do this in every one of my videos, so. Yeah, that's the torch. Yeah, in case you're wondering, it's a half a million BTU Tiger Torch. I bought it for $20. And left full open, that thing would run probably almost an hour off of a 20 pound cylinder. So there you have it. I'm gonna start prepping dinner and do a quick tour of the camp. All right, after a productive day of bear hunting, it's time to crack a stone. It's uh, affordable and I don't mind the taste. Mm hmm. Yum, yum. So, I'll give you a quick tour around here. I know it is a bit dark, but we've got an electric fence that uh, it packs up pretty easy. Run off this 12 volt deep cycle battery, goes to the fence charger, which charges this thing up to eight kilovolts or 8,000 volts. We have a fire. We built a tripod, Crazy Neighbor and I, last time we were out here to try and make it a little more windproof. If, if it does get windy, we just throw up a tarp on there. Anyways, into the tent. This is Gazelle Screen Hut. And I have a lot of people that ask, you got no floor in this thing. Well, that's okay. We're up on cots. Beautiful wife and I. And beautiful wife does not like to appear on camera. Uh, she is a teacher. She is a public figure kind of. So let's just leave her off of YouTube. So we got the Mr. Buddy heater. This thing is a catalytic heater, which in the States, it is approved for indoor use in a tent. In Canada, not so much, just because of the different regulations. It doesn't emit carbon monoxide and it actually has a low oxygen shutoff. So if, you know, if you didn't have a wall of screen, 
it would shut off if the oxygen got too low before it killed you. And yeah, we're running this lantern in here too because of all the airflow we have. But still, I carry with me carbon monoxide alarm. And that'll let me know in the night if there's any issues. It'll go off, uh, probably scare a bear or two. What else do I have in here? Our stump slash night table. And I don't go anywhere without a good first aid kit. So that's what we've got going on around here as far as the tent. And no, we don't get bugs crawling all over us at night. It's, uh, th there's a few ants, but th they don't crawl up into the bed, so. Time to cook some dinner and finish my stone and hit the hay, because tomorrow I'm going to build a shower, a whole bunch of other stuff that we've got to do. And we'll see you then. Right on, more cooking with Steve. Today, you guys are going to love this if you're healthy, marinated some chicken breast, chopped up into pieces, in an unnamed Italian dressing. Check this out. We're making, uh, making some kebabs with pineapple, cherry tomatoes, mushrooms, uh, red onions. Gonna be great. And we're gonna throw on a little risotto too, a mushroom risotto. Because I don't always smother everything in cheese, guys. That's just a rumor. Sometimes I eat borderline healthy. And we're gonna get that started instantly. These delicious buttes are going to go in the barbecue right away, and the risotto is clipping along. So I'll throw these on and get back to my stone. Here we're all cooked up. Mushroom, risotto, and chicken, and everything kebabs. This is going to be a good not smothered in cheese for once meal. So now you're camping with Steve and I don't think bears like the smell of anything like this. Mm. But I do. Good morning guys. I had a pretty good sleep last night. Beautiful wife not so much because apparently I snored a lot last night. But it scares the bears away so that's a plus about that. Anyway, the uh, breakfast for today great thing with making kebabs is all the stuff that I didn't use on them can go into an omelet today other than the pineapple. So that's a really good feature with making those. And I do need to give a big shout out to the people that made this video possible. There's a lot of people that have donated beer, that have made some extremely generous donations. Uh, we'd, <clears throat> we'd still be out here camping but you know we probably would be eating more like oatmeal and you know drinking water that type of thing so I I do have to give big shouts out to all those people it's uh, your stand up couldn't be doing all this this well without you guys so uh, and if you if you like what you're seeing you can always uh, you can give subscribing a try if it's not working out you could just unsubscribe later so that's uh, you don't have much to lose uh, there anyway the awkward parts over time to Time to cook some breakfast. Okay, omelet, yum. We are going to head into town for another 15 pack of supplies. See if there's any bears along the way. And you gotta stay tuned for the next video. It's been a couple of days, we're starting to get grubby. We need to have a nice camp shower. So on the next video, this afternoon, we are going to be building a three or four horsepower gasoline powered camping shower that should have the adequate pressure that you always need not those dumb little bags where they drizzle on you a little bit like this will clean a car this is going to be a good powerful shower so stay tuned 
for the next video and thanks for following along guys.